Walking through the Al Roj refugee camp, the 22 year old is unrecognisable in her figure hugging outfit, nails painted, and hair flowing. Shamima Begum wants to convince the world that she's changed. If ISIS were to come back now, if they were to come to the gates right now and say who wants to join us and whoever doesn't join us will kill them, I would rather die. I would rather die than go back to ISIS. Soon after the collapse of the Islamic State group's caliphate, Shamima was seen with her newborn son, who died in infancy, the third child she'd lost. At this time, she attempted to excuse terrorist outrages, including the Manchester Arena bombing. I'm asking the British people to forgive me because I made a mistake at a very young age. And I know it's very hard for the British people to try and forgive me because, you know, they've They've lived in fear of ISIS. They've lost loved ones because of ISIS. But I also have lived in fear of ISIS. And I also have loved, lost loved ones because of ISIS. So I can sympathise with them. She's seen here leaving the UK as a 15-year-old, one of three schoolgirls from East London, seduced by online extremism. But she insists she's not a terrorist and hasn't killed anyone. Well, I think people are making these things up to make me look bad. But... The fact that people believe these claims, just, I, I don't know how to explain it, but if, if you really think I did do this, why don't you bring me back and put me on trial and hear my side of the story? But that's impossible, as ITV News explained to Shamima when the British government revoked her citizenship. Please find enclosed papers that relate to a, a decision taken by the Home Secretary. Today, the former Home Secretary maintained that he still saw her as a security risk. When I saw uh, what I did and the information that I received from uh, my advisors, from our intelligence agencies, it was a very, in the end, it turned out to, for me, it was a very clear-cut decision. And that was a decision that's been tested in the courts. It's gone right up uh, to the Supreme Court, the highest court in the land, and they ruled in favour of that decision unanimously. After seven years away, Shamima distanced herself from Britain, referring to your country. You are clearly struggling with extremism and terrorism in your country, and I want to help with that, with like giving my own, telling you my own experience from with these extremists and like what they say and how they persuade people to do what they do and to come to places like Syria. I think I could very much help you in your fight against terrorism because. You clearly don't know what you're doing in the fight against terrorism. Since Shamima's been rejected by her country of birth, it's an opportunity she's unlikely to be offered. Juliet Bremner, ITV News.